Students, please stand up and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, good afternoon, class. But before we start our lesson, let us dance. Zumba. Energy high. It is predicate. 
okay? But you listen to me. I will ask you randomly in the middle of this discussion. And then if your answer is correct, I will give you points. And if you don't answer my question, any of my question, I will deduct your points. So please listen. The questions are so easy. If you just listen. Okay? So a sentence is a set of words that contain a subject. What is subject? A subject is a sentence that talks about and the topic of the sentence. And a sentence have about its predicate. A predicate, what is said about the topic. Take for example, I have illustration here. It's all about sentence. Sentence, note, it is a complete idea or complete thought. Okay? The subject. Take for example, the subject here is you. You. And this and the predicate here is speak English. There is a verb. Okay, what is verb class? Okay, Marjorie, what is verb? Okay, verb is an action word. Action word here is speak. You speak English. So speak English is the predicate here. So it is a complete thought. Okay? Now let us proceed for the next for another example. The first example is very short. Of course, a sentence can be longer and more complicated. But basically, uh, there is uh, always a subject and a predicate. Okay, look at this example. The subject here is Ram and Tara. Okay, Ram and Tara is always a subject. And the verb is, is speak. Speak English when they are working. It's so long, so it is complete idea. Okay? So, Ram and Tara speak English when they are talking. So, it is absolute, absolute, a complete thought. No, a predicate is always contain a verb. Sometimes, in fact, it only contains one verb. So take for example about this, subject is smoke and the verb is rises, okay? Smoke rises. What was my note? A predicate is always contains a, anyone, okay? Marjorie, very good, it's verb. You can say that a sentence always at least have a subject and a predicate. Again, a sentence always contains a, Okay, enough. A subject and a predicate. Very good. Two points. So what is sentence fragment? Sentence fragment is an incomplete group of words punctuated as if it were a sentence. And it is sentence grammar. A fragment is usually missing one or more of three components. There is no subject. It may be no a subject or a predicate. And a complete thought. So, in other words, no complete idea. Okay, take for example, meet with the people. Take note, if you write a sentence or an essay, you should know about this. There is a subject, there is a predicate, or your sentence is a complete idea or thought. So, you must know about that before you write an essay. Or after you write and say, okay? So, take for example about this. Meet with the people. What is, there is a missing subject. Because it is a predicate. There is a meet with the people. And to complete the idea, you should provide a subject. The subject here is the president. The president meet with the people. So, what is the verb here? Huh? What word does represent a verb? Okay. James. Okay, the word met. Okay, two points. The president meet with the people. So, there is a complete sentence. Okay? Okay, the next example, the missing here is the predicate. The subject here is the sound from the room. So, 
to make it complete, the sound from the room was loud, was quiet, or anything that completes its um, thought or idea. That is dependent clauses or subordinate clauses. Dependent clauses or subordinate clauses, it is a sentence fragments that are not able to stand on their own. So take for example, a, a doll, a doll, paper doll. You should um, make a stand on it so that it will stand off. So here in dependent clauses, he, he or it should not stand on their own. He should not able to stand on their own. That is dependent clauses or subordinate clauses. Okay, the example here is because he lost his car keys, he had to catch the bus home. So there's no complete angle. Here it goes. We have to arrange it. He had to catch the bus home because he lost his car keys. Nagdali siya kuli para kay nawa kuno iyang yabe. That's what the sentence meant. Now, let us proceed to our activity. Prepare your notebook or activity notebook. And, okay, copy and answer. I will give you five minutes to answer two activities. So, first direction is, if a verb of words is a sentence, write as. If it is fragment, write F, okay? It's only one F. And part two, directions. Correct these sentence fragments by adding the missing parts. Answers will vary. And you should create things, skills to make fun sentences. So for take, for example, in this part two, huh? my sister's cat. So possible answer would be, my sister cat is adorable. My sister's cat is cute. Answer it right now. Now you are done. You have your assignment. Okay, you pass it tomorrow in afternoon, okay? Your assignment direction is, if a group of words is a sentence, write sentence, okay? And if it is run on sentence, write on and correct the sentence so that it is no longer a run on, okay? No, run on sentences are two or more sentences written incorrectly as one. So take for example, my dog is cute, comma, his name is George. It is run on. Correction is my dog is cute, period. His name is George, okay? Okay, you may pass it tomorrow, or tomorrow afternoon. Thank you for listening. You understand what was my discussion. And for tomorrow's activity, you have to prepare yourself for more fragments and sentences to be discussed. Okay, class? Okay, class, dismiss. But for now, let us all stand up and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God, for everything that you give given to us. Thank you for strength. And thank you for all the lessons that my kids may understand it carefully, God. Thank you for all you have done and all for us. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, class, goodbye, and thank you.